Tonight, I know y'all heard my story at the beginning about the weight loss, and I know y'all are looking at that picture back there and looking at this and <laughs> looking at that picture and looking at this and said, there's a little discrepancy there, Scott. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> uh, uh, a few years ago, I started having a lot of pain in my left side, and, uh, and it progressively got worse and worse and worse, and at concerts, I would leave off the stage, and people said, why are you limping? And I didn't even notice, and it got worse and worse. Went to the doctor, and they took x-rays and said, yes, you have pain there that we can fix. And I said, wonderful, how do you fix it? And they said, you need a new hip. I said, what? <laughs> yes, you need a hip replacement. I said, a hip replacement? That's for 100-year-old people. <laughs> but I found out there was a lady in the hospital with me, 38 years of age, getting a new hip. Because apparently, you know, they, they last longer. They used to not put it in younger people, even though some younger people needed it, because they don't, you know, they need another one in five or 10 years, and now they last 30, 40 years. I said, great, I'll be dead by then. So, uh, and I'm so wonderful that they give you, you know, they got new parts and stuff. That's great, you know, we just, as they get older, just start replacing stuff. And, um, and so I had to get a new hip, and I went into the doctor, and he showed me, you know, how they did it. He said, we're gonna chop your top of your bone off and take that. And, and, uh, and, and I, I was wondering what they were going to do with the old bone, you know, because I, I kind of wanted that. I said, I, <laughs> you know, I was thinking soup. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too much? <laughs> You're right, honey. My wife's over here going, no, don't say that in church. That's not right. No, don't say that. So she was right. <laughs> Yet again. So anyway, um, <laughs> But they showed me, you know, he had the whole thing. Any of you have done, you know, he showed like a big old spike thing right there and a big old like trailer hitch ball on the end and they gonna take this out and put that in there. I said, awesome, this will be great. And now my wife is a nurse. We've been married 18 years. I, I've known her for 20 years and we met in church. That's a good place to meet people. Not some bar or pub somewhere. It's good to come to church. I met her in church and, um, and she's, and she's a nurse. And first of all, do we have any nurses here tonight? Any nurses? Okay, several of you nurses. Uh, because uh, I've been married now to a nurse for 18 years. I met her. She came into church one night. Of course, I was single. She was single. And, and she walked in. I was like, hello, who's this? I was like, a pretty girl, you know. And somebody said, she's a nurse. And I just fell on the floor. <laughs> I said, I need mouth to mouth. No. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but, but we, we got married, and, and but let me say, being married to a nurse for 18 years, you nurses have no sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> Y'all, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, you, I have to have a limb missing with blood squirting before she looks at me twice. It's like, oh, you're, you're fine, you'll get over it, you're a hypochondriac. You know, that kind of thing. So uh, now I've never been in the hospital for anything, ever, much less major surgery, and I've always heard that the most dangerous part of any procedure is when they put you to sleep, you know, that anesthesia. And I was looking at my wife the night before, and I said, honey, you know what? I, I'm kind of apprehensive. What if, what if I don't wake up? She said, you won't need a hip. <laughs> I said, I'll be stuck with the bill. Are you kidding me? So anyway, they put a new hip in, and it feels great.